So guys, let's talk a bit about my destroyer build right now. How is the state of my destroyer build before Cackle Sadon comes to any in you? Also, I will give you some helpful tips to make your own Giga Chat destroyer. And fun fact, this is finally my first video in English, so I'm a bit rusty. Bear with me, I will try to make this as short and clear as possible. So this is how it goes. I will try to explain all my skills, runes, and rotation. And while I'm doing that, I will talk also about the sets, the gear, the accessories, the stats, engraving, and all that is related to, okay? Because basically everything is related to my rotation and the way that I like to do the stuff with the destroyer. Okay, let's see my build first of the skills. As you know, you use blue skill to generate gravity cores, and those gravity cores, you use them on the purple skill to do more damage and get more critic because I'm right now using the Rage Hammer Destroyer build. So let's talk about the skills. I have Heavy Crush as the first skill. Actually, I use this at level four with the Quirt Recharge Rune. And you will tell me, why do you use Quirt Recharge? I see other destroyers using Rage Rune. And there is a reason for that that I will explain later. For now, Quirt Recharge, actually, when this procs, it's really helpful to, ha that, to have that cooldown reduction because this is where we go with my build i have actually a build with crit and specialization i don't use swiftness i usually recommend to go with crit and swiftness because the destroyer is as a low class and it's really difficult to do some mechanics mostly if you are new to the rates to do some mechanics being so slow but i already know all the raid mechanics the pattern of attack so i'm really comfortable doing crit and specialization build also let's talk about my set i'm using the entropy set full six pieces of entropy set is the best set for the destroyer because all the skills of the destroyer are head attack so this set will help you a lot for this kind of attack and also give you the most damage possible you get critic damage you get critic chance and so on and so forth maybe you will get the question how what do i do if i don't have the entropy set complete well you can start i guess getting two pieces of entropy set if you can do Baltan hard at least if you keep getting more Baltan material you can get also two pieces of salvation i was like that like a few weeks ago and you can complete that with two pieces of argos so that is it for the entropy set if you have more questions by the way you can find me on twitch we can talk about the destroyer the game in general if you have doubt i can help you as much as i can so let's keep with the build have heavy cross, one gravity core with recharge room. Dreadnought is the my counter skill of choice. I have to actually power attack and dreadnought, but I like to use dreadnought only for the tenacity. That super armor that gives me push immunity is really helpful if I want to let a counter against a boss that usually trying to push me back. And also it will go to level 10 with a damage reduction tripon and also one additional attack. I use the Gale Wind Rune here. As I said before, I don't have any swiftness, so the extra casting speed will be really, but really helpful for me. I just use Jumping Smash with Superior Chains, Armor Destruction. This is the Synergy Tripod to reduce the defense on the boss and also Smash to get even more travel distance. I use this one with the Overworld Rune, and there is a reason for that that I will show later also. Level 10, those are the Tripods. Endure Pain, level 10 also. With more AOE radios, you can use Taunt. Depending on the boss, you can use Taunt Tripod or Anti-Gravity Tripod. Uh, for example, Baltan Gate 1, Bikas Hard Gate 1. You can use the Taunt. Those boats are susceptible to Taunt. And for the Baltan Gate 2 and Bikas Hard Gate 2 and 3, you can use Anti-Gravity because that shield is really more helpful than having the Taunt. Also, the last Tripod will be Health Mentality in really important to have this tripod at level mass there is a, also a reason why i use this tripod as high as possible and also i use this one with the rage room there is a reason for that i will show you on the rotation skills so for the purple skill really simple the purple skill will do most of the time of the destroyer i have earth eater full swing perfect swing a seismic hammer let's start with the less damage in one it will be seismic hammer this one you want it as high as possible. So when you get to level 60, you will have it at level 12 with tenacity. will give you super armor with push immunity. Tripod 
with more damage and another turbo with more damage with Cyber Gun Strength. I use this one with Overwhelm Room and this is, this is the reason why I use Overwhelm here and not with Full Swing. I see some destroyer using Overwhelm with the Full Swing skill, but I use it with Seismic Hammer and with Jumping Smash for this reason. So let me demonstrate here. So the reason for this is that you can cancel Seismic Hammer with a dash. So if you want to dish the most amount of a stagger in a short window of time, this is the best way that I can find. You can use Seismic Hammer, dash, and then jumping smash. This usually helps me to do the stagger check really, but really, really fast. Even you have the time to do other skills like Earth Eater, that is the skill with most stagger in the game after that. So that is the reason that I use Overworm here with jumping and smash and with seismic hammer. Also, Earth Eater, full swing and perfect swing, as you can see, all have the Gelwin room. That is the simple reason. I don't have swiftness like I showed you before, so I want this skill to be cast as fast as possible. Earth Eater, like seismic hammer, level 12, when you get to level 60, you will get enhanced strike. Again, tenacity for that super armor with push immunity and earth and ray for more damage. I use it, like I said, with Gelwin Ring. Full swing, again, level 12 with quick preparation. I use quick preparation basically because that's aligned more with the, my rotation, so I can use it consistently. But you can also use agile movement if you see that you need more uh, attack speed on the animation for the skill. Uh, scary Hammer for more damage, Beast Eye for more damage, Gateway for extra casting appeal. Oh, one important note here. We don't use the Tenacity Tripod here because there is a way to use Full Swing and Perfect Swing with that Super Armor with Push Immunity, actually. And I will show you right away. Perfect Swing, the last skill of the Destroyer. This is the harder hitting skill for the Destroyer. You want this level 12 if you can get Gelwin legendary also and all your tripod at max level called all three tripods are for damage so remember i just told you that you can use full swing and perfect swing both with super armor without getting the tripod and that is with endure pain basically the tripod that let you do that will be healthy mentality like i said before you need this one at the top level with the five second duration plus the five seconds that you already have on base that will be 10 seconds in total for push immunity and also damage reduction so let me show you with the rotation what i mean let me summon a boss here usually you will start your rotation with the synergy skill that will be jumping as much then Heavy Crush to get 3 Gravity Core, and after that Seismic Hammer, cancel it with a dash. Then you start with During Pain to get 3 Gravity Cores again. Perfect swing, because you already have that push immunity and super armor, so you are sure that your perfect swing will not be cancelled if the boss pukes you back. So let me demonstrate it. Jumping as much, Heavy Crush, Seismic Hackman, super armor, perfect swing. I am protected right now. If I can do with a Dreadnought, in heavy crush again to get to get three gravity cores again i can do the full swing and i still had that super armor uh, buff like i said if you get this one to level five the healthy mentality tripod i can assure you that you will be able to do the perfect swing and the full swing being protected with super armor so you basically have the way to do all four pole pole skill being protected with super armor to push immunity also, the reason the Rage Room is here is because the slow skill to charge and also to do the animation is perfect swing. What's happening? I always, and I mean always, use perfect swing after the Endure Pain because that gives me more uh, security that I can land the perfect swing without being cancelled by a pushback. And also, the other way that I use perfect swing, if I see that a counter is coming for the boss, that is the right time to use a perfect swing without using Endure Pain. But if in the moment that I use Endure Pain, this room activates or proc, the char will be really, but really quick. Of course, let me show you here how much could take to do all that. 
Okay, that is activated. Perfect swing is actually pretty faster right now with that 16% extra attack speed and moving speed. What else can I tell you about this? Oh, one last thing, really important. Like I said before, I usually use the Endure Pain before the perfect swing, but the cooldowns do not align. So what I'm going to do in the future is to get a cooldown reduction gem at least to level 10 just for endure pain so it can be more in line with the endure pain plus the perfect swing combo for me so the perfect swing gem level 7 will stay like that for the cooldown reduction and i will only work to get a level 10 for endure pain to get even more cooldown reduction so the cooldowns can ally themselves and for the last thing to mention the engravings well you already know the engraving for the ray hammer destroyer will be ray hammer supercharge grudge barricade and as a fifth engraving will be master brawler because you want to land all your attacks on the head and for the cards well two choices life of salvation or lost wing cliff for that extra crit chance and this is basically it guys uh, this is the day for my build for my destroyer a giga chat destroyer right now to work even more on it, I just have to get a bigger gems, higher level gems on the on the purple skill for more damage. Level up my weapon, the quality of my weapon, and also my item level in general. I hope this information will be helpful for you guys. If I miss something here that is helpful, please leave it on the comment below. That will help the community a lot. And see you in another video.